Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Cassandra. Welcome back to Cassandra's Garden. This is Focaccia Bread Recipe 2, Part 2. Thank you so very much for your patience. So the bread has, um, the bread dough has had time to rise for a total of one hour, 60 minutes. And as you can see, it doubled in size. So now we can begin our next step of making this bread. You're going to take some olive oil and I usually take about three tablespoons. And then I take the paper towel that I had covered um, on my bowl and I just generously rub it all around, keeping in mind to oil the sides. And then I'm going to take some salt and you just sprinkle it on the bottom of, well, it'll be the bottom of the bread, but on top of the olive oil. That's the way the original recipe did it. And we are going to bake... Yes, 400. I'm going to preheat my oven right now to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You all can forgive me. I'm moving a little slow today because my husband's painting the kitchen. He's repainting it. And we're having to, I had to move things out of his way. And so my kitchen's a little bit unorganized right now. And it's, ugh, it's driving me crazy. I can't wait till he's done. So we oiled our baking sheet. We salted it. Now we're just going to take this oiled dough. We're going to put it on our pan. You don't have to knead it. We've already done that. And you're just going to start pressing. This is the most beautiful dough I think I've ever made in my life. I think I said that in the first focaccia bread video too. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous dough. And as you press, it naturally just makes this beautiful edge it's just so beautiful and this is just a regular size cookie sheet that's what you normally make focaccia bread on and see how well it's just so pliable i love how it's just so pliable <clears throat> it smells so good y'all now that's it we're, we're not done. We're not done. Now, there's a few more parts to this recipe that you're going to see. See, just look. I'm not even doing that on purpose. It just naturally, it just makes this beautiful, rounded outer edge. And I just think it looks so pretty. And just keep patting it. Now, with very clean hands, you're going to take your fingertips and you're going to go boop, boop, boop. Just like that. And we're going to do it again after the second rise. But you're going to go ahead and start dimpling it. Now keep in mind, you don't go all the way through the bread. Now, that's it for part two. We are going to let this rise for 30 minutes and we'll be back. <laughs> 